Hello guys, today we're going to work on flower base. This one is slightly different, right? Uh, different than realistic painting. So when you're looking at this painting, what do you think? What comes in your mind first? Maybe pop art? Yes. And you can see the pop art characteristics uh, when you're looking at those two art pieces. They're using bright colors patterns, and then also uh, thick outlines, black outlines. Those are the uh, pop art characteristics. Okay, so this one, these are those two art pieces created by Mr. Romero Brito. He's a Brazilian artist and he was born in 1963. He is a famous painter and sculptor too. And his work is involved with the bright colors and patterns and um, simple these shapes. So and also thick outlines. Something in some parts you can see the thick outlines, really thick outlines. And he's using all kinds of art styles. So for example, pop art and then cubism and graffiti. So you can see all the characteristics on those three art styles. Um, let's go start our project. Today you can use your um, markers because the you know, marker gives really bright colors. But if you want to, you can use different types of materials. You can use a watercolor, crayon, or other oil pastels color pencils, whichever works, I'm okay. Now I'm going to show you how to create uh, Mr. Um, Brito style flower vase. So you're going to hold bottom piece, you're going to use your vase and then upper part you're going to use for your flowers. Um, you can have a flower base shape looks like this, or if you want to have a more va uh, base shape, I'm gonna go and close it. Do your best to to match, and I mine is slightly on. Um, it's not matching, so I'm gonna just fix a little bit. So whenever you draw, draw lightly, okay? So you can erase your mistake. Now, here we go. After this one, I'm gonna do adding flowers. So simple shapes. So for example, Mr. Brito, when he used his uh, rose flower, he used circle swirls like this. Mm. I'm gonna close it. Here we go. And then maybe we can have a daisy shape. And how about can we add different shapes? Maybe I'm, I like to add a triangle shaped flower. Here we go. There's no such a triangle st uh, fl uh, style of uh, shape flower, but Mr. Brito, he add triangle flower because I think it's influenced by um, cubism. Anyway, I'm gonna add a couple of leaves. And then maybe I can add a part of flower here. And maybe we can add a leaf. Leaf and should we add a more leaf here? Here we go. Now you need to work on your base. I'm gonna add line, simple line, and divide a couple pa add patterns. Okay. 
then you can add a different designs on your flowers and patterns so i'm gonna add a patterns on here okay maybe stripes how about some flowers you can just leave it as it is and some flowers you can just play with the placement of your patterns or design uh yes designs i'm gonna add and then this one he used a lot of dots and stripes certain part he used some uh, shapes Here we go, and I'm going to add lines, and now I'm going to take care of the background, I'm going to add table line, and table line can also have a patterns too, I'm going to add a check mark, checkerboard on the back if you want to you can have a, your background design too I'm gonna just add a couple marks and coming through here and fill with the small little designs Here we go. Now, when you are done, you can trace your design with a Sharpie. If you have a leftover pencil mark, always, always you can erase. Okay, I'm ready to curl it. So you can use all kinds of markers. You can use thin markers, thicker markers, but remember bright colors, okay? Use bright colors. Also, on here, if you want to, you can have a some marks can be a little thicker too. You can choose some area can be a little thicker outlines then other you can go double like it go a little over you can use sharpie or you can use a marker to give big outlines
Here we go. I think I'm ready to go. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go a little bit more on here. Now you have all kinds of toys. So for the lids, you can choose, you can use many different shades of green. And you can color whichever you want. And coloring with the markers are not that hard, so I think you can do a really great job. If you have a 20 color thin marker set, that will be nice to give you many different choices. Okay, guys, have a good time for creating this. This is the brittle style flower base. If you work hard, you can give this one to your mom for Mother's Day. Try to hide all the sneaky spots. Don't leave the white paper showing through. So, I'm just working through my green leafy part first. But it's your, up to you. You can start from your flower if you want to. Okay, guys, have a great time and hopefully you have a fun. Have fun, guys. Bye. There you go. Mr. Bruto's flower vase. One is for a flower for you, and the other one is this one is for it's for you. So look closely and come up with your own idea to have a more closer to Mr. Bruto's styles. Have fun, guys.